Peter, welcome to Stoke City Football Club. Does it feel good to, to be out here and meeting the lads for the first time? Yeah, I feel great and uh, at least I'm here. Finally, I'm here. The World Cup is over, so I need to come resume with my team. I'm happy with the team, I'm happy with everybody here. And uh, I really appreciate the support and the welcome they give to me. I'd imagine it's been a whirlwind for you. You've been away with Nigeria, very busy. I'd imagine you've not had a chance to think about Stoke City too much. <laughs> no, come on. Well, after the World Cup, it's normal for every player to go rest, to go either break, but uh, still, you still have to know that uh, you've got a season to start. So <laughs> my mind was here because I know <laughs> I'm not going to rest forever. It's just for a few weeks, so yeah, it's the most important of all. And what a few weeks for you it was. I think you were one of the stars of the, of the first few games. A lot of supporters were very excited to see your performances. Well, like I said earlier, I just want to thank them for the support. And uh, I believe, uh, let's see how the season goes. If we're going to, I believe we're going to make a great season. But well, let's see how it goes. It's not just to start, but uh, it's to end and to finish well. That is the most important of all. But uh, I just want to say that uh, I'm just going to give my best. My best, I believe my best is going to be enough for them. I guess so. The big question was why Stoke City? I think there's a lot of clubs who shared interest in you. We just got relegated. What what made you make this move? Well, I had uh, so many friends. Well, not a lot of them, but uh, people that uh, I spoke to and uh, the tradition of the club. They were nice people. They were good people that you can work with. Uh, Stoke is not just a small club. Everyone knows that Stoke is like uh, the hippie club, so even though things didn't go well with them and they got relegated, but it's for us to make sure that uh, we get everything right to become uh, the, part of the, uh, the first part of the, the league. So I think uh, it's important for us to, to do one, to make sure that uh, everything goes well for everybody. You're an ambi ambitious player. You undoubtedly want to play in the Premier League, ideally with Stoke City. Well... For truth, I got other options from the Premier League, but uh, like I said, I signed before I even went to the World Cup uh, because of the relationship and uh, the conversation I had with them, and I was happy with it. I was okay with it. If I wasn't happy, if I wasn't okay, I'm not going to mm. come to Stoke. So I believe uh, I'm happy with it. I think the supporters saw you in a couple of positions in the World Cup. You played deeper, you played more attacking. Where does Peter Etebo prefer to play? Depending on what we've got, depending on the situation of the game. But uh, my main position is uh, the attacking midfield. But if I find myself playing defensively, not more. Just for me to give my best. You look at the squad of players. There's a lot of quality. There's a lot of talent. You must be excited to get involved and, and get working. Yeah, I'm really excited. Indeed, I'm really pleased because that's why I say that it's for us just to make sure that we do well, to, to give our best, to make sure that we come back to, to the first league. Although it's not going to be easy. It's not just what I'm saying now, it's just, just to do well. It's not going to be easy, but uh, let's see how it goes. In terms of fitness, you look in good shape. Do you feel ready to go straight away? Yeah, I'm ready to go. I'm very ready to go in terms of fitness. Well, not 100%, but I believe I'm ready to go.